Hello friends. In today's video, let's learn everything about Thomas Splint, the splint which revolutionized immobilization and saved millions of lives. Myself, Dr. Kathar Stalin. This splint is named after Sir Hugh Owen Thomas and this splint was primarily used as a first aid splint to evacuate injured from no man's land. Later, as a bed splint for weight traction during fracture healing. Thomas' original objective was to immobilize the knee, especially as a process to facilitate the outpatient management, particularly for patients who were affected with tuberculosis. But later, he adapted this for managing the fractures of distal third quarters of the femur. And then it's now utilized for traction in bed for effective treatment. So what's the impact it created during the World War I? It reduced the mortality rates for gunshot wound to the thigh and the mortality rate decreased from 80% to 20% with the introduction of the splint. What are all the parts of Thomas splint? The first thing you should know is the proximal padded oval metal ring. And the next two structures are the inner and the outer side bar. And the padded ring is set at 120 degree angle to the inner sidebar. And in the outer sidebar, you can see a curved structure there. This is to clear the greater trochanter. The inner sidebar and the outer sidebar distally are connected or joined with a W piece. And this is shaped like a W in order to prevent the slipping of the traction unit. How to measure and choose the appropriate splint. First, measure the oblique thigh circumference below the gluteal fold and ischial tuberosity. Internal circumference of the padded ring should be at least two inch more than the measured circumference. Why? Because there could be a possible edema and there should be some space available to accommodate this edema. And next, measure the crotch to the heel distance and add 15 to 25 centimeter or 6 to 9 inch for the inner side bar length. And then once you measure, you should apply the Thomas splint carefully. Gently push the correct size splint up to the ischial tuberosity with constant traction. Fix the traction and secure the limb. To dynamize, lift the leg end of the bed and the traction unit would apply the traction while the gravity would apply the counter traction thereby the splint can act like a sliding traction unit as well. What are all the potential complications that can happen with Thomas splint? The most important complication is pressure so. Make sure all the bony prominent area and the splint are well padded thereby you avoid this complication and also please avoid tight compressive way to secure the affected limb with that of the splint, thereby you can avoid compartment syndrome. To conclude, Thomas splint revolutionized immobilization techniques and saves lives by improving fracture management. If you have any questions related to Thomas splint, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Question everything. Just ask. We are here to help you. Thank you.